All right, I'm going to make a quick video explaining how you calibrate the space when you're using the null driver for uh, the wipe tracker or when you're using the anti latency because this is something that uh, isn't talked about anywhere uh, and I keep explaining it over and over everywhere but so I'm just making a video and it's pretty much uh, how you align the origin uh, of uh, the whole tracking space uh, and that's the first thing you need to do when you are uh, doing the tracking uh, or calibrating the track, uh, tracking parameters so basically what you want to do is you want to grab a wife tracker uh, or a wifi anti-latency tracker it doesn't have to be wifi could be on a cable as well uh, and the whole premise is that you put it in three spots uh, the origin spots, just put it down in the middle of the studio and you record this is the origin spot and then you move it uh, one or two meters forward and that's your forward point and you capture that point as well and you move, move it to the right from the origin and capture that one as well and that way you tell an axiometry, okay this is the floor plane and this in, in our world here, this is the floor. And to be extra clear, I'm gonna try to draw how to do it. So basically, let's say that you have your studio here. It could be a cyclorama per se. So this is the green. Uh, I know it's black, but pretend this is the green screen. So you take your wife tracker or your anti-latency tracker and you put it somewhere here. And this is origin. You decide that this is the origin point. And then you go into Eximetry, Edit, Manage Devices, and depending on you, if you're using Anti Latency or OpenVR. Uh, for example, it's the same principle, but since I have Anti Latency up, uh, I choose a device down here. Uh, now I don't have uh, any Wi-Fi devices, but you choose the one that you put down in the middle of the studio and you put it at the origin point and then you press set current and then it will record the position of the uh, of the tracker. So when you recorded it with set current you move, it, it doesn't have to be precise, but uh, I usually move it you know, one or two meters forward from that origin point to here, and I place the tracker down there, and this is the forward point, like so. And then you uh, select your tracker again, if it's not, it's already selected, but yeah, and then you record the forward point, set current. So now it should be recorded. And then what you do is you move the, the tracker to the right of the origin. It doesn't need to be exact. And this is the right point. So it's the same. And you go to the right point and set current. And this should help you align everything. Uh, and as I said, this is the first part of you know, calibrating the whole tracking system, and I, uh, I with anti latency uh, trackers, I just did this once uh, and never had to touch it again. And with the wipe tracker, I had to do it quite a few times because you know the base stations get the drift in them and everything. So this, if you are using the wipe system, this is something you maybe have to do on a regular basis. Maybe even every time you. Uh, turn on the system or every day you come in to the studio Just so you know, that's the that's a smart and easy fix that uh, Eximetry added to uh, their system and it's uh, it works great over and out